Okay, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you a couple different methods to uh, get to where you're looking uh, for inside a program. For example, uh, where we want to start hunting for a, a, a key, or where we need to patch, or uh, you know, all those kind of things. So if you remember in this keygenme before, we right clicked, searched for all reference strings, and we found right wrong. That's okay for something simple. It's there. It's easy. It's quick. Why not? Uh, heck, we can just scroll down and see everything we want to see. Um, but let's say those things weren't there. Another way to do this is search for names. This gives us a list of all of the outside calls from our uh, program. And in here, you want to look for things that are helpful, like uh, for when we're getting user input, uh, you might see get text item, you might see uh, for console input, you might see scan f, you might see sin, uh, you might see gets, you might see get ch. Uh, a couple of these that I said are here. Um, so let's right click this one first and find references and we see three references. We double click it'll bring us to here and we can see that that is where it asks us to enter our name after it hits this call it's asking for user input so if we go back to search for names uh, we can go down to or we can double click or find references on this one again double click the next one and it's enter your password and if we s find references again and double click this one this is also where we enter our password now for the get ch search for names we can find references and double click this reference and it is right here at the end of the program and we see wrong password right password so these are places that we can go to because we know that it's asking for our input it's gonna hit those and if we check them out we see useful information I'm gonna analyze code real quick because that spot right there is killing me anyways um, and if that's not available you can always um, in in this program there's not many returns uh, there's one at the very end right here so, if we run the program, and we know that that returns after this get ch, uh, and we know that this get ch is after our wrong password. So, let's enter some, enter some, and then right here, let's pause the program. It's going to say pausing, it's not going to actually pause. Um, and now let's go ahead and press enter. Oh, it paused. <clears throat> so now we're in kernel 32 module. We don't want to be here, so let's debug and execute until return. Okay, we hit a return. Let's control F9 again and again. And now it says down here, until return. So let's open our program. Now it's wanting us to hit enter. So we hit enter and we get a return within. MSB CR90. Let's do Control F9, Control F9, and now we are in KeygenMe at the very end. Um, when all else fails, you can always use this method to find the end of the user code. Like in this program, it starts at the top and it ends at that return. But this isn't always the case. A lot of times you'll have this much crap and then down here will be the user code and then more crap and so that's always something that you can do to find at least the end and then you can scroll up um, another thing is let's say uh, well we've all used WinRAR we'll use that as an example um, so let's open WinRAR in Ollie open I'm gonna WinRAR and WinRAR EXE Oh, I have 30, I have 64-bit WinRAR. Fail. 
Okay, uh, now I have WinRAR 32-bit. Let's uh, go ahead and see if we can open that up. There we go. Now, we, we've all used WinRAR. Every time it loads, it pops up, gives us this stupid message right here. Well, we want to know what called that and how we can get rid of it. Let's open Ollie and pause. It's going to pause, and now let's do Alt F9, which if we look in debug is execute tell user code. We'll do that. It's waiting for us to clo click close. Once we click close, Ollie breaks, and we come up right here. We see dialog box. That's where we just came from. And if we look here, uh, this is what tells WinR to call it. So if we don't hit that, then we aren't going to get that box. So if we edit, go with NLPs, edit, copy to executable, exit, yes, yes, overwrite, restart the program, run. Now WinRAR is going to open and no box pops up. So another way to figure out where we're trying to get code is to wait for the program to do something that we don't want, pause it in Ollie, do Alt F9, and then go back to the program and click the box, and then Ollie will break after that box at the next line of the user code. Then you know exactly where you need to look. Um, sorry this is such a short video, but uh, I thought these are some things that need to be mentioned so that we can move on. Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.